Belfast Lord guess and other things go BOOM! They ask him or tell him? Air raid on us. Fucking dick. Better call the cops! The brothers back in Belfast really appreciate your help. I'm in the French ward. Think I could stash a little dough? Hold yours, I need a supply run out to the French ward. I'll head your way now. See anything you need? Let me see what you got. Done deal. I'm out of here. I got a name for your judge. Cornelius Holden. He just made a call to Luke. first elected him to the Fifth Circuit in 1951. There's something else you should know. Those two men are Lamont Harris and Trey McCall. They were killed by a man named Hollis Dupree. Yeah, I heard he gunned them down when they showed up to his house asking for help. Hollis claims he was in self-defense, said he thought they were there to kill him. Cornelius is the judge that's presiding over the trial. So killing him might kick up a lot of noise. <laughs> Cornelius is an entitled southern asshole. Killing him is gonna do a lot more than kick up some noise. Hopefully, it'll send a message that is long past the time that those cocksuckers went extinct. That's the car down there that Lou is talking about. That thing armored? I pulled the work order for it. It's a complete custom job. Tough as hell. It'll take a pounding, but it won't be impossible. Cornelius is scheduled to leave any time now, so this is your window. You follow a set route? Not since the trial started, but he still makes a stop or two on the way home. So, you can either hit him then, or go after him when he's driving around. All right. And watch out for the cops. Chicken out to be okay. This day's been a goddamn chore. I'm 
about ready for my medicine. Shit's going down. Get me a new ride in the French ward. Seems slammed at the moment. Give me a ring later on and maybe I can squeeze you in. and tick fall. No can do, lad. Sorry. Need new wheels and tick fall. No can do, lad. Sorry. Need new wheels and tick fall. On it, lad. Just getting her warmed up. All units, pursuit is called off. Abandon search and return to patrols. Fire. Appreciate pursuit it. Pursuit is called off. Abandon search and return to patrols. Oops. 
Look out. Oh, you tell Not him. cool. Sorry, my fault. My fault. Here Come in the hall of the great mm. Watch your the Sorry about that. Mm. Watch yourself. Oh. Excuse me. Want to hear Marcano tear Uncle Lou a new one? Lou Marcano was bribing a district judge named Cornelius Holden, is that correct? Sal Marcano spent a lot of money getting Holden in his pocket. A lot of money. Judges like that don't come cheap. And with Holden out of the picture, Sal had to find someone else to legalize gambling. And that person was State Senator Walter Jacobs. That's right. You had one fucking job, Lou. That was to keep holding him one goddamn piece to laugh to that room. What was I supposed to do? He wouldn't listen, Sal. It ain't my fault. Ah, uh, nothing's ever your goddamn fault. I swear, if you wasn't my brother, I'd clip you myself. Now listen here. I know a guy, a state senator named Jacobs. He's on the Revenue and Fiscal Affairs Committee. <laughs> Has a lot of influence. Can we get to him? Already have. He has a thing for fucking on women who ain't his wife. I don't want to twist this guy's balls out of the gate, you understand? We need to be smart about this. Yeah, 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 of course. Uh, how about I throw him a fundraiser on the riverboat? Show him a real nice time. Get him weighed, all that shit. This goddamn casino got me tapped, you understand? This goes down to shit or we're fucked, all of us. Well, I'll pick the guests myself. Make sure they know what's what. Then we'll take a nice long cruise down the bayou, get them all liquored up. Once he sees that payday, Jacobs is gonna do whatever we want. <laughs> Lou Marcano knew everyone. I mean, politicians, merchants, lawyers, bankers. He insisted on being called Uncle Lou, and was basically the Santa Claus of the French ward. According to the police reports, Mr. Marcano and Mr. Jacobs were killed during a fundraiser on a riverboat. The thing about the bayou is it's a very big place. You could blow the living shit out of everything in sight and no one would even notice. <laughs> Ready to go when you are. Assume you already mapped out where the riverboat's gonna go. Lou's pretty fastidious about that kind of thing. Always follows the same path when he goes cruising through the bayou. Doesn't want anything to happen to his beloved Delphine. <laughs> gonna be the least of his problems. You weak on the area? There's an old coal dumper that they have to sail past. I've already got it rigged to blow. You just need to connect the primer core to each block and then set it off. Detonator's down by your feet. All right. Isolate and kill. Lincoln Clay specialty. What's wrong? Yeah, it's the boat thing, isn't it? Not saying it is, not saying it ain't. <laughs> you need to get over it. You were on what, 40, 45 PBRs in country? 52. That's not the point. You don't know what it's like to get onto a boat knowing full well the damn thing's gonna sink. It's old, man. Look, you blow the coal dumper, boom, it hits the boat. Then you jump on board and kill Lou and those other assholes. 50-50, you don't even get wet. 50-50? Well, 40-60, but still.
Thirty seventy at the worst. Jesus Christ, watch out!
Say what you gotta say. That's far enough, you wop asshole! What the fuck, Lou? Take another step, me, bitch. You think I give a shit about some politicians? Please! Please, I, I don't even know what's going on! 